Hello everyone, welcome back. So in one of the video we have seen about the difference between the silver amalgam restoration and the composite restoration. Now in this video we are going to see about the difference between the silver amalgam restoration when you are comparing it with the cast restoration. So cast restoration it can be your inlays, onlays. So these are your various cast restoration. Now so the first difference is in this the outline form it is narrow. Now this is an amalgam so now you know in amalgam the outline form is narrow whereas in cast restoration the outline form it is wide. So you'll see that the intercuspal width of your restoration so it should be one fourth the intercuspal distance. So the distance between your two cusps is nothing but your intercuspal distance. So in this you'll see that the restoration so the width of this restoration it should be one fourth whereas in cast restoration it is one third. So that means the cast restoration it is wider. Now the next difference is in silver amalgam the depth is more. Now whereas in this cast restoration the depth it is less. So the preparation that you are doing for the amalgam it is deeper whereas when you are doing it for the cast restoration you will see that the depth is less. So you require that proper depth for your amalgam. So now we know the ideal one is 1.5 mm. So that means your amalgam restorations they are deeper when you're comparing it with the cast restoration. Now the third difference is in this the preparation walls they converge occlusally. In this the walls they are parallel that means they are straight or they can be divergent that means they are divergent like this. They are divergent in amalgam they are convergent and because of this convergence you'll see that there is a sort of undercut and because of this your amalgam it goes into this and gets retentive. So this convergence is nothing but your primary retention form in silver amalgam. Now in this cast restoration the walls they are parallel or you'll give the divergence that is the divergence it is very less that is 2 to 5 degrees. Now the next difference is in this the buckle and the lingual proximal walls they converge and over here they are parallel. So as we have seen over here. Now the next difference is in this the cavo surface margin or the angle it forms a butt joint that is 90 degree. That means your cavo surface margin is nothing but the angle between the prepared surface and the external surface. So your cavo surface margin it is 90 degree in amalgam whereas over here it is 135 to 145 degree and over here occlusally you give a bevel. So in the amalgam restoration beveling is done only at the gingival C to remove the unsupported enamel in cases of class 2 whereas in this cast restoration the beveling is done on this occlusal surface whereas it is also done in the gingival surface and this is done for the better retention. So next difference is now in this amalgam the line and the points angle they are rounded whereas in the cast restoration the line and the point angles they are well defined they are not rounded off but they are well defined. So now in this amalgam the axiopalpal line angle it is beveled whereas in this cast restoration the axial pulpal line angle it is rounded off. So this is the next difference. Now over here there is no reverse bevel which is given whereas in this cast restoration you will see that you are giving this reverse bevel. Over here no grooves are given whereas in cast restoration you will see that you are giving grooves in the fascioaxial and the linguoaxial line angles and over here you will see that there are no undercuts which are present and over here the undercuts they can be given because now your walls they are convergent. So it automatically creates that undercut by which your amalgam it goes into this and it gets retentive. Now over here the burrs which are used in amalgam are 245 and 330 whereas the burrs which are used in the cast restoration is 271 and 169L. In this now we have seen we are giving gingival bevel. So in this it is 15 to 20 degrees. In cast restoration now we have seen that we are giving occlusal and the gingival bevel. So in this the gingival bevel is steeper that is 20 to 30 degree. And you have to see that in class 2 restoration when you are preparing the gingival seed. So over here this becomes your occlusal and this becomes your gingival seed. So this gingival seed it should be located supra gingivally that is above the margin of your gingiva. Whereas in this class restoration sub gingival extension of gingival seed is also acceptable. And the last difference between the amalgam and the cast is in this the proximal walls they are only provided with primary flare whereas in the cast you can also give primary as well as the secondary flaring. Now what are this flare so I'll cover about this flare in one of the videos. 
So you have to just remember that in amalgam you are giving only primary flare, whereas in cast you are giving primary, or you can also give secondary flare. So this was all about the difference between the amalgam restoration and the cast metal restoration. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, then please like, comment, share, and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.